face of Vilikazi Street is a brand ambassador program that seeks to find an individual who will represent the most iconic street in Africa. Well, the individual is someone who has a tenacious, pioneering and eccentric personality and uses these traits to uplift the community in which they live in. The essence of the program also speaks to the diversity, wealth and the history of the country, as well as seeks to bridge a personality for it to join. Well, for more on this, we are now joined by Lungile Buhale. She is a former Miss Soweto back in 2014, as well as a founder of a Face of Bilakazi Street, and she joins us now in studios. Very good evening to you. Good evening, Shante, and good evening to the viewers. <laughs> Definitely. So take us through the essence and the idea behind the face of Villagazi Street and why Villagazi Street? Awesome. So I started Face of Villagazi Street in 2016. So it's been a three year journey. When I initially started Face of Villagazi Street, it was a pageant um, that only accommodated females. And this year, after going through certain challenges, I realized that it didn't make sense for me to go the pageantry route because of certain things that I believe in. And in 2019, we just recently relaunched it. It's now a brand ambassador program. So the Brand Ambassador Program seeks to find an individual that has a business idea that it has, will benefit the society and will implement it. So th that's what initially we're looking for. So this person that is coming with this social entrepreneurship idea is someone between the ages of 19 to 26 and is someone that um, lives, breathes, wanting to do good. Yeah, in terms of, of social entrepreneurship, what is the definition of a social entrepreneur? And what do you think the importance is of combining an ambassador role uh, with business as well as adding then the social aspect into it? Uh, I, I really love the question. So maybe let me just unpack why we chose Face of Villa, Villa Street. So the, the four facets that we're looking, we were looking at, one was we're looking for someone that's a leader. Then we, how, how we always link that is Nelson Mandela and uh, Desmond Tutu are two pioneers who are leaders all of our country that live in that street. Second of all, we're looking for somebody that is academically smart or also very street smart. So the street is named after the first person in South Africa to have ever received a PhD, uh, uh, W.P. Vilagazi. Because of that, that person needs to have those characteristics. Thirdly, the thing we'll be looking for is that the street is the first to have the biggest restaurant in Soweto, the first to have a, a media house. Because of that, that is, it, it, the characteristic is um, business. It's doing something beyond the norm. So that's the first thing we're looking at. So when we say social entrepreneurship, my definition of it is somebody that has a business that will impact our society. Um, I think we go too much into detail trying to make this definition bigger than what it is. And what it is is just, you can have an idea that you want society. And essentially the arts are eccentric and it's not necessarily something that you can uh, define per se. Uh, let's then have a look at uh, the criteria in actually choosing your ambassadors um, and how does one become a participant? So the characteristics are, I've mentioned uh, a few. So the person needs to be between the ages of uh, 19 and 26. And the biggest reason why we went for that category is you're young enough to understand what it is that you want, but you're not there. And the, 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 the program will give you skills to make sure that you get to that level. Um, second thing is you need to have an average of 65% and above in matric. Um, this is because it's, you've proven in high school or even within wherever you are right now that you will work hard and make sure that you tenacious enough to achieve your dreams. So that's the second aspect that we're looking for. And thirdly, the person needs to be living in Gauteng uh, just so that they're able to attend workshops. And essentially, what have some of your success outcomes been of your previous brand ambassadors? Uh, success, uh, so we have, uh, our, uh, our previous ambassador was uh, Tepiso Moffat. She did incredible things within the community. But that was also from a pageant side. So her job was necessarily to go through communities and schools just to do charity work. And now we've had to completely evolve what the brand stands for. And that's why we introduced entrepreneurship. <laughs> and now just very briefly, as a young entrepreneur, um, you've then evolved the brand from it then being a, a pageant to a brand ambassadorship 
program. In the next five to ten or twenty years, where do you see uh, the face of Vilikazi Street? So, in, at the launch, this was one of the biggest questions that were asked. So, the reason why we named it Face of Vilikazi Street is because of what it stands for. So 10 years from now, it should be, be able to be in New York and still have the same principle and still be able to get a leader from New York who's just representing the, uh, the centricness of the streets. It should be everywhere. So in 10 years from now, it should be a global thing. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining us this evening. That was Lungile Buhale, uh, Mr. Weta 2014 and founder of the Face of Bilik Azi Street Ambassador Program, uh, just taking us through some of the criteria and essentially uh, where and how the Face of Bilik Azi Street was.